In this video, we're going to talk about how top roofers in Northern California generate new leads when the weather isn't as nasty. So if you have a roofing company in the Bay Area, Sacramento, and you looking to generate more leads when there's no storm or when the yeah when the when there are no storms right then stay tuned let's go ahead and talk a little bit about that before we get started my name is leo i have a digital marketing agency here in solano county it's uh digital track and my website is digitaltrack.co so if you want to go over and check it out see the different uh, information that is available tools resources um that you can find there all right so during the storm season to get started so to get started during the storm season it may feel pretty easy for you to find new leads right for your roofing company or your roofing uh, business or roofing contractor business the word of mouth marketing and print door hangers may may be enough for you during that time because everybody's busy you know when there's storms or rain people suffer damage obviously they are in need to get that service uh it may keep you busy for several months however <clears throat> when the weather is in a nasty as nasty we're going to talk about how successful are you or let me ask you the question how successful are you generating new leads what sort of other marketing strategies do you apply when um the season goes down right when this when the weather is calm and nice what sort of other marketing strategies do you have in place because i must i assure you that going through neighborhoods and um looking for people to um may need your services it, it, it is time consuming we only have 24 hours and if you're the operator and the marketing person a the salesperson then obviously it's it's, it's gonna be um uh, a a less rewarding thing to do for you and eventually you get tired of doing continue doing roofing because all you're doing is overworking yourself so let's let's go ahead and, and talk about how top roofers use business listing to cover their business online and by business listing i mean there are online directories like google my business bing yelp facebook and just list those are what we call business listings or online directories. So this is what we're referring to about here. So the, the first part is nail down your Google My Business listing. If your roofing business doesn't have a Google My Business listing and people are looking for your services, and for, let's say, for example, Fairfield or Sacramento, and you are not listed on Google, then might as well your business be invisible because besides the word of mouth, how else are they gonna find you? Nowadays, you notice that a lot of people are just looking on their phones whenever they need a services or they're looking to go in for something, they, they go on their phone and kind of uh, search for the service or product they're looking for. If you don't know what Google My Business is, um, you can just Google. Google My Business, but that's what's going to allow you to uh, <coughs> 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 apologize there, allergy season over here. So Google My Business is what allows you to list your business on Google, right? To be able to add the name of your business, the hours of operations, your address, the phone number that this is the a free tool from Google that allows you to put your name listed on Google so that um, when people are looking in a map, let's say, for example, about a specific service, you will show up there. Or when people are looking for, let's say, roofing companies in Fairfield and um, your company has a great reputation and is, is well uh, set up in the online directories, then your company will show up there but if you do not use a tool like this obviously you are um leaving out all the all, all the people that are looking for google are looking for your services in google and let's see let's see if there's a stats here it says how many searches are performed on google let's see if this one helps 63 search, 63,000 searches. Google received over 63 searches per second, per second. Now let's see how many um, roofing 
companies, company in Fairfield, California. There's over a million four hundred thousand results. Okay. Now let's go more accurate over here. Uh, so there's about five results that people look for it monthly basis. So um, there are definitely a big opportunities to for you to um, get on it. What about Vacaville? It's about three results. How about Solano County? Roofing company in Solano. 87 results. Fairfield. Hundred sixty three thousand hundred sixty three roofing company near me. Twenty two thousand. So you can see there that um, Google is definitely the place where people go and check out, uh, you know, for for different things that they need. Um, there's a big market for uh, people using utilizing things like Google to search for products and services. And we, we saw over here 63,000 searches per uh, second. That's over 228 million searches per hour, 5.6 billion searches per day. And these are stats recently updated from SEO, SEO Tribunal, right? So the numbers are there. You cannot deny that Google is powerful for people to go and find stuff. And something as simple as you adding your business to Google My Business um, will will create a, will increase the chances for people to find you. Okay, well, obviously it doesn't mean that they're still gonna find you because depending on the competition of your area, that may not be the case. But at least you have a much better chance for people to find you, and it's free. It's free to do. Um, to verify to see if you already have your business. Um, list it because some people may list their business for you all you do is go to google my business oh sorry google.com forward slash business and then all you do is click on manage now and once you put your business name and hit next google is going to search on the database to see if your business is already listed because like i mentioned it like i mentioned any anyone can go in there and set up a business uh listing for any business okay so if you, for some reason, asking yourself, but what? why is my business already listed if I haven't done it? That means that somebody else did it, okay? It could be a customer that wanted to complain it, and your business wasn't listed, so they went ahead and and uh, complain about it. And maybe you be, may be asking yourself, okay, so what do I do if my business is already online? No problem. Just go ahead and continue through the steps, and Google's going to ask you if you want to claim it, and just follow the process. If you do not have your business listed in Google, just go ahead and follow the process, check, follow the steps, all right? Just gonna ask information about your business. And what's gonna happen is, in a few business days, they, they're going to send you a postcard with the code. That code is something that you will use to confirm that you are the owner of that business. Okay, let's see, uh, let's type in right here, Google, my business post postcard, so that way you get, uh, Get to see a picture of what they look like okay so this is a picture of what they look like okay and it has a number the number that appears over here for you is what you're going to utilize to confirm that you are the business owner of that uh, business all right so next item that we have over here uh cement your listing details the more business listing like google my business you have the better because when it comes to search engine optimization, and search engine optimization is basically how people find you organically without uh, having ads on Google, okay? Search engines like Google love to see lots of verified references to your business and link to your business website. So what this is talking about, about over here, right? The more business listing like Google you have, uh, Google loves Google and other Others like it, like for example, we have Bing, Yahoo, right? All those are our search browsers that people use to find things or search for things. The more of those listings you have, the 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 better are the uh, it increases the the 
the verify references to your business so it increases the chances for your business to appear higher on the on the search results okay and think of it as it this way if you have your business listed on Yelp for example or Angie's list and Angie's list has 40 reviews from you five stars I don't know how the Angie's list system works but let's say Yelp right 40 uh, reviews from you with five stars and all of them pretty much say similar things right they they at least three core things right your prices are competitive your services top notch and that uh, warranty is amazing okay so if people are constantly saying within the 50 reviews that over and over again that is a verification for me if I go and search on, on Yelp about your business and I see those reviews over and over again, those keywords being used over and over again, that tells me, okay, so that tells me this company is, is, is worth it to check out because the prices are competitive, um, the service is top notch, and the warranty is amazing. So based on those cores, uh, things that people keep saying over and over, that's basically like a confirmation to me, right? the user that is trying to find services like the for roofing right and so to a search engine like google or bing or yahoo is the same thing if you have your business listed uh the same way uh let's say on facebook on linkedin or uh on angie's list on yelp or on, on google if your business is listed the same way then what Google is getting from that information from all of those source sources is okay this is the business that more likely this user is looking for um, so let's go ahead and put it in front of them so that way they can see and check it out okay um, so that's the end and the sort of explanation that I want to give up about that hopefully that uh, that makes sense to you if you know if not go ahead and let me know either you can post it below or um, go to my website and see the different ways you can reach out to me uh, a word of ca caution. So having multiple business listed is a good idea, but if they all say slightly different things, they could do more harm than good by your SEO. Search engines looks like looks for consistency in every single one of your business list details. What he's saying over here is that whenever you have your business listed in many other online directories, like I mentioned before, Yelp, uh, Yelp, and just list being google etc when you have your business listed in all those places make sure it appears the same way everywhere so in google you have your business name listed one way on this phone number uh, the uh, hours of operation for example or or a website make sure that all the other web all the other sites like yelp LinkedIn, Facebook have the same information or at least very similar because again that helps reinforce that search engine that the information you have everywhere else is the same one those for this is the business that uh, that user is looking for. Prime your reviews on the top contractor review sites. Think online reviews don't matter? Think again. While they used to be somewhat buried within specialized review sites and deep in your online listings, they're now front and center, okay? Why? Consumers trust online reviews, and search engines know that. So search engines like Google are prioritizing business, businesses with more higher rating and reviews online. They're showing them first in search results, and they are even showing their average star rating as well. So what this is trying to say is the importance that search engines like Google are placing into reviews, right? Because for Google to make money, they obviously, they need to, to provide a good experience to the people that are using Google to find something. Because otherwise, if they don't have a good experience, they never are gonna come back to Google. And if they never come back to Google, then companies are not going to pay Google to advertise, okay? And so, obviously, that's that's why Google puts such a put a, put such a great importance and effort into creating a great experience for their client, okay? So businesses that have great reviews 
are going to be one of the key factors for Google to put you on the top of this of the search results. Other things are, are, will affect as well, right? So don't think this is the only thing. There's other factors like distance or the the how your business is classified or the name of your business. Okay, so yes, star rating or ratings reviews have a uh, is a big factor, but also take into consideration the distance is also another big factor okay because obviously it's more much more convenient for google to put a business that have great reviews as well in front of that client or on the top of resources of the client and then other businesses around it because obviously if it's too far it's not going to make too sense for that too much sense for depending on the type of industry a a, a, a roofing company i may be willing to uh Go a little bit farther just because of this of the of the amount of most much project could be you know anywhere between five thousand to fifty thousand so there's a big project big investment so definitely uh, you can uh expand your search a little bit further but again taking uh, reviews and and distance are are great factors here's a, an example okay these are three different roofing companies they have different reviews so let me ask you from simple side, what, what are some of the ones that you will uh, contact first? Will you contact uh, this one? The, because they have great reviews, four and a half stars, 62 reviews, uh, open 24 hours. So if it's uh, after business hours and I need a service now, more likely I will contact this. More likely from these three, this is probably the least the last one to contact because it doesn't have a review, so it doesn't seem as experienced. Um, and this is another, probably another good one, right? Because it has 63 reviews and it has five stars. So it's it's probably one of those that uh, I will uh, also consider contacting. Again, depending on my needs. So notice one of the most, okay, let's skip that. Uh, Notice one of the most prom prominent elements of this Google Local Pack results example is the one to five stars rating for each roofing contractor. So these are the star rating that they're talking about. Google displays the number of stars out of five businesses like you have accumulated, like yours have accumulated. So these are the, stars, the star review system, right? They can go from one to five. Uh, five is the highest. One, I believe, is lowest. So if you have none, then obviously you will have none. Uh, and get this: Google won't even show your business in this local pack if you don't have at least a few positive reviews. Well, that will depend. If uh, if there are or no other companies uh, in the area close by. Your company may still show in there even if you don't have good positive reviews. It, it may still show just because, again, Google is just putting the results there uh, based on the the customer needs. Okay, so if there's no other competitors around, uh, it, your company will probably show there. Uh, it, it may show companies that are even farther away, uh, just because of the re reason again that there's not too many uh, companies in that specific area that are, let's say, for example, a roofing contractor. I'm sure of how to get more reviews online. If you are not sure how to get more reviews online, um, contact me. I think I have some video out there. Um, if not, uh, contact me. I, perhaps I can answer so, so many questions and I, I can make a video about that as well. Hammer home local SEO tactics on your citations. Do you know that 88% of mobile consumers searches for local businesses online results in a call or store visit within 24 hours? So do you know 88% of mobile consumers searches for local businesses online results in a call or store visit within 24 hours? So people that are searching for a service or product have an intention and it's a very it is a, it's an intention to get get uh, that service or product as soon as possible, and you know as soon as possible could mean different things. Obviously, depending on the uh, 
on the cost. But as you can see over here in this analysis, based on these statistics, 88% of people that are searching from a mobile device uh, for a local business, they actually results on a call or this or store visits within 24 hours so that's how powerful is the intention from that people have when they have their mobile devices and they are looking for something on their mobile device uh it's, it's about 88 percent of 88 percent of people that are doing that they have an, a strong intention to actually do business with that, that type of service, the, the company that offers similar services that they're looking for. Obviously, they're going to go ahead and do the research uh, and, and price around, but uh, um, that's what that is talking about, the, 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 the impact of, of uh, people that are, do a search of mobile devices. That means we'll qualify high intent customers in your physical area are searching for roofing businesses and roofing contractors like you on their phones. We said mentioned before. To get to the top of this highly local research results, you'll need to optimize your listing and citations for local search. This could be the same as the local keywords you use on your websites in places like your body, copy, URLs, title tags, and images attributes. We call this on page SEO. So what it's talking about is that on your website, make sure that you uh, put information there, what areas do you service, right? Uh, if you don't know how to write content, there's different services that can offer that. And uh, you just got to make sure that in the, within that content, it, it, it talks about the specific services you want to offer uh, or that you offer to your clients, right? Or, or what are the services your clients look for the most to you and they're very happy about it? And also, what areas do you cover? What areas do you want to concentrate, okay? So if I'm in Fairfield, California, obviously I'm not going to mention things about Los Angeles if I'm a roofing contractor. If, and, um, and I'm not that big and I don't have a, an office on, on Los Angeles, obviously I'm not going to put mention things about LA in, in my website, okay? Other things that I see people fail a lot to do is that on the title of your website, you can actually... Uh, Put information there that could be helpful. So, for example, in the title over here on my website, you notice here how there's a little uh, uh, thing that pops up. It says Solano Digital Marketing Digital Track, looking to reach more local clients. The question mark. That's that's a title tag. Okay, so um, those title tags show up on on uh, search results. So let's say if I'm looking for roofing company in Fairfield. Roofing Company, Fairfield, California. Okay. <clears throat> this is an ad, but let's see if somebody puts that on the title tags. Roofing Contractors near Fairfield. Affordable Roofing, Fairfield, California. Okay, so affordable roofing that this is using the title tags that kind of makes sense. Okay, it says affordable roofing. Okay, affordable roofing. I like that. It's attracting that demographic people that are searching for affordable roofing. And then it lists the, 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 the city, right? Fairfield, California. So that means that that more likely somebody's going to um, feel uh, that they want to check this website because it mentions their city and it mentions that uh, keywords that are very powerful for people, which is affordable roofing. This one, Roof Masters, you know, it may not call my attention too much because Again, I'm looking for companies that are in, Fair, in Fairfield, California. I'm not sure if this one is in Fairfield or not, so I'm not going to start with that one. But I'm going to start with this one because it mentions it's in Fairfield, California. Above all roofing company, a step above all. Uh, so this one I see that in the URL it mentions Vacaville, but um, and, and, and on the notes it says Vacaville, but in the name it doesn't mention anything about the area or... or uh, the, the, the areas that they service. So again, um, that doesn't make it easier for people to figure out based on their name uh, if they want to visit their website or not. This one stands out the most, right? Because it says Fairfield, California. So that's basically some of the stuff that um, it was talking about there on this uh, paragraph over here, the on-page SEO stuff, right? Make sure that your title tags, um, the the body copy of your website includes information about your business and locations. 
So I uh, hope that makes sense to you. Aside from including the same variations of, for your city and state across all sites, think about local keywords you can incorporate. Include suburbs, neighborhood names, and this mostly applies to big cities, right? Uh, even popular landmarks your business operate near. Anything that can help uh, clients identify uh, your business is there to serve that area that your customer, your customer may be looking for in a specific area. So I hope this information helps you. If you, for any reason, have any more questions, go ahead and comment below or visit my website and uh, you'll be able to find information about my phone number, uh, email, how to get in contact with me. Uh, definitely look forward to hearing more from you. Uh, all right, have a good one. Bye.